Fun Facts presents the 1956 Buick Centurion Concept Car. This is or was a 50s classic car and it was introduced in 1956. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And let's get started now. The 56 Buick Centurion was a concept car <clears throat> that showcased several features that were either predicting the future or adapted by automobile companies at the time for their latest lineup. The Centurion debuted to the public at the 56 General Motors Motorama Show. It had a V8 engine that could produce 325 horsepower. It sat four passengers and the seats automatically slid forward when the doors opened to allow easier entry and exit for passengers. It had an unusual design and the concept cars at that time shared that trait. <clears throat> the car was also introduced the earliest concept of both rear view cameras and the sunroof and it allowed bucket seats to become a mainstay for American cars which had previously only used the bench seats. It had two tones, red and metallic, and this design scheme applied to both interior and exterior. The interior body used fiberglass construction and it had a bubble window and roof combination. With the windows un unable to be open the way the windows open in modern day cars, Many ideas will soon be used by both Chevy and Buick for their current automotive models. The 56 Buick Centurion accurately predicted the future of automotive vehicles in so many ways. One of them were the bucket seats. The car displayed bucket seats which were uncommon in the United States at that time. However, bucket seats were commonplace in European cars by that point and they came standard. That said, United States still used bench seats for their cars at the time and it was after this model was on display that did automobile companies begin to rethink their approach and bucket seats, be, bucket seats become a mainstay in American cars. And another feature was headrests, which also were not part of American cars at this time. The Buick Centurion totally revamped, revitalized the way American cars had seats and the way American automobile manufacturers looked at installing seats. Developed for and debuted at the 1956 Motorama, the Buick Centurion's futuristic design has been beloved for decades. With many features considered new today, this car was certainly ahead of its time. Buick enthusiasts will recognize the sweep spear, the chrome on the Centrion as being similar to the 1957 Buicks. They might even recognize the rear fins as being those of the 1959 models. The rest of the car, however, is a one of a kind. <clears throat> The Centurion uses a freestanding speedometer with a fixed indicator and rotation dial, a television camera mounted just above the tail cone projects images from the rear of the car to a screen on the dash, thus eliminating the need for a rear view mirror. Centurion's wings, tail cone and canopy top reflect the influence that aircraft design had on many of the GM designers. Sometimes your wallet won't stretch to purchasing your dream motor car, but don't worry too much. These are some cars that even the biggest bank balances can't buy. <clears throat> the dream cars that will forever remain a dream these are the concept cars that never go into production. The Buick Centurion concept, when you conceive of a car that needs to be a part rocket and part jet fighter, a car that can take you to the moon and back, when GM debuted 
the Centurion concept at the 1956 Motorama, they made many of those dreams of a fantasy a reality. GM had been showcasing concept cars at the Motorama throughout the 50s. Most of them ended in the Crusher, but the Buick Centurion was destined <coughs> for the history books. <coughs> Excuse me. Designed by GM's, the current vice president of design, Harley Earl, with the help of his future successor, Charles Chuck Jordan, the Centurion was the perfect car to start at a motor show, which was famed for displaying cars on moving sets and with performers and bands as a complement. Featuring a stunning two-tone paint job, the Centurion looked aggressive, almost shark-like, but its softer glass dome roof, it gave away to a jet fighter cockpit, a design feature which has been the favorite of many concept cars before and since. Inside the bubble was some fairly space-age tech. Gone was the mirrors, replaced by a central camera screen. The seats retracted for ease of entry, whilst the steering wheel counter-levered off a central column of chrome. The Buick Centurion became such a favorite of motoring fans that even beyond its Motorama appearances, it was given its own national tour, receiving huge publicity. As for the elements which were borrowed for future use, though we are yet to see the bubble roof take a real hold on the modern car design, what tax savvy car these days comes out with its own rear view mirror. Developed for the 1956 General Motors Motorama, the Buick Centurion debuted an impressive number of features back in the day. It had bucket seats before there were a feature and incorporate into many aviation inspired cues inside the cabin. It also boasted the largest completely transparent bubble roof developed until then. The Centurion concept was ahead of its time and eventually inspired many GM cars launched in the late 1950s. The wing type fenders and the two-tone paint are only two of the features that trickled into production models from Chevrolet and Buick. But there's one innovative feature that was forgotten as years passed by. The Centurion debuted the world's first rear view camera. And that's back in 1956. The system was very similar to the backup camera layout we know today, but the technology was obviously crude compared to what we have now and find in modern cars. It comprised a television camera mounted atop the V-shaped trunk and a small TV in an oval-shaped section in the center of the really sleek dashboard. Then, groundbreaking system was created by auto designer Chuck Jordan. Word has it, there was no proof at the time that the rear view camera was actually functional, but the idea was nevertheless ahead of its time. The idea didn't catch on, though that was most likely because connecting the camera to the TV would have resulted in a messy cabling system that would have taken a lot of space behind the dash, under the center console, and even in the trunk. The backup camera made a comeback only 16 years later when the Volvo introduced the experimental safety car in 1972. It remained an experiment yet again, and it took almost 20 more years until a production car with a rear view camera became available. Toyota offered one in the Sawyer from 1991 to 1997, but it was restricted to the Japanese market. <clears throat> in 2002, Nissan started offering view, rear view cameras globally in the Primera and the Infiniti Q45. 
1956 Buick Centurion has plenty of reasons to brag about as far as the design goes, but it should get a bit more credit for the prophesizing the rear view camera about 50 years before it became widely available. Okay, well if you found yourself this far into the video, we'd certainly like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch our video. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up because it really does help our channel. And if you like our channel, please subscribe because we'll be doing all the concept cars from the 50s and 60s. We'll be doing the sports cars. We'll be doing hybrid cars and supercars. We'll be visiting autoramas and car shows, hot rods and custom cars, a little bit of everything for everybody. So we'll look forward to seeing you when we upload our next video. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. And always, always, always take good care. Thank you.